These websites are gonna make you look like a genius in front of your boss, your clients, or your teachers. These websites will also save you hours of work and are completely free. So let's get started with the first one. Before you submit your final client proposal or your homework to your professors or teachers, head over to coolbot.com paste some of those paragraphs in here click on paraphrase it will rephrase some of those sentences making you sound smarter than you already are hit on the summarizer button at the top if you don't have time to summarize a whole bunch of pages no problem simply paste the document in here or simply upload the document in here click on summarize and it will summarize it for you. Everybody knows that stats and data make you look and sound like you know what you're talking about. But let's be honest, nobody wants to read raw pages of data and numbers. So how about we convert all of those into amazing infographics and incredible social media posts? Let me introduce you to infogram.com where you can create engaging infographics and social media posts all from your data. Let's start off using the free package once you log in click on template and there we go simply select the template that looks cool for you you'll see how awesome it is it animates all your data click on use this template and then pump your own data into this but it does even more what about social media posts well let's select that simply select one of the templates pump in your own data into this and make your social media pop there are even free virtual background for zoom PDFs are great, but how many times have you wanted to edit a PDF, but since you don't own the software, you're not able to. If that is you, you're gonna to wanna to bookmark this site. Head over to onlineocr.net, and OCR means optical character recognition, which essentially means it takes text out of images such as a PDF and converts it into a workable Word document. Here is a PDF, you can see how the formatting, what I'm gonna do is select the file and then upload it onto the site. Then I'm gonna click on Microsoft Word and then click on convert. A couple of seconds later, there is a document. Now what's pretty cool about this is that it keeps the formatting. Unlike some of the other tools, allow you to extract the text but lose the formatting. We love to be able to translate these odd phrases that we see on social media, but did you know that Google Translate can do a whole lot more? Check this out. Head over to translate.google.com, type in your phrase and it will translate it to the language you've selected. But they've added a document section. Click on the document section, browse for the file on your computer and then simply upload it into Google. Before you click the translate button, make sure you select the language you want to translate it to, then hit the translate button and watch it do its thing. It will translate it and it will create a PDF of that document. And of course, we now know how to edit the PDF so we can get rid of things like machine translated by Google. You know how difficult it is to try to coordinate a bunch of people to agree to a meetup on a specific date. It's an email back and forth, absolute nightmare. Well, that headache is about to disappear when you use this. The site you want is whenavailable.com. Click on plan and pricing, select the free version if you don't need any of the additional features, and you're gonna create a free poll. Now, why a poll? Because you're sending this out to your family members, or you're sending it out to your colleagues or your friends to be able to organize that event, and they're gonna vote on which days they're actually available. So here I'm planning a family vacation to Hawaii. I'm gonna select the dates that I think that we should be going, and I'm gonna click on create poll i'm going to get a little short url that i'm going to send to all my family members to try coordinate some sort of a family get together this is what they see they're able to log in and say okay i'm available on this date and this date this is the date i'm absolutely not going to be available and then this one is a maybe now each family member does this and there's even a cute little messaging board that we can leave each other messages now me as the administrator the coordinator is trying to get everybody to the same place well i'm going to see who is voted which dates they're available and it's going to make my life a lot easier so many software companies are switching over to a subscription model but not everybody is on board with paying a monthly subscription fee so here is a way to find alternative software that you can perhaps replace a paid for app with a free one the site you want is alternative to.net type in the type of software that you're tired of paying a subscription on and you will give you an alternative in this case alternative to microsoft word at the top i'm going to select the platform i'm going to filter it out i've got some tags i can choose and under license i can either choose free open source or paid i'm going to choose open source and whatever software you're trying to find an alternative to well it will be listed below now check out these cool things you can do with your USB flash drive and check out this video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video 
or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.